now they say in the above circle line segment RQ is parallel to diameter VP. All right, so I know that VP is a diameter. And what do we know about this triangle? We know that this is the radius. This is the radius, and therefore, it's an isosceles triangle. And they tell us that VR is equal to OP. Sorry, OV. VR is equal to OV, which means that we have an equilateral triangle. In other words, this angle here and this angle are all 60 degrees. And at this angle 60 degrees, I know that this one is 120. And surprise, I have another isosceles triangle here, triangle OPR. So I know that these two angles here are equal. And if the sum of the, the three angles must be 180, it must be that this angle here is 30 degrees. And because we have parallel lines, VP and RQ, I know that angle OPR is equal to angle PRQ. So this is another 30 degree angle here. So all of this is 30 plus 30, 60 degrees. In other words, this triangle, again, another isosceles triangle, it's an equilateral triangle as well. So triangle OQR is an equilateral triangle. And therefore, side RQ is equal to the radius. All right. Now they're asking us, is the length of minor arc RQ greater than 3? Well, number 1 says that the area of the circle is greater than 9 pi. In other words, pi r squared, the area of the circle, greater than 9 pi, which means that r squared is greater than 9, and r is greater than 3. So if the radius is greater than 3, they're asking us for the length of the minor arc rq. And because we know that the shortest distance between any two points is a straight line, I know that rq The length of RQ is greater than 3, which is the radius. So number 1 is sufficient on its own. And number 2, of course, is not sufficient because it gives us no information about uh, the length. It just says that RQ and VR are equal in length. Well, this is something we, we, we know already when we, look at, when we look at the information given in the question. But because I don't have any information about actual lengths, number two is not sufficient. All right? So, in this data sufficiency question, the grant answer is number one. Number one by itself is sufficient, but number two is not. All right. This is a good question because it combines circles and triangles, parallel lines, something that the most difficult geometry questions, plain geometry questions, will do.